Assalamualaikum dear viewers. Hope you are doing well. I am Shoaib Madhav again here with another informative video related to the electronics and the MATLAB simulation. Dear viewers, today we are going to perform the experiment regarding the half wave rectifier on the MATLAB and the multisim software. Before doing this experiment, let's discuss some few points regarding the half wave rectifier. So, diode is a two terminal semiconductor device with an ability to conduct the current only in a one direction of a certain amount of the voltage applied to it. So, rectification is a process of converting the AC signal into the pulsating DC signal. So, a half wave rectifier circuit is able to convert only the half cycle of the AC signal into the pulsating DC signal. Generally, AC supply voltage is given through the transformer. During the positive half cycle of the AC input voltage, the diode is forward bias and hence it conducts the current. So, during the negative half cycle of the AC supply voltage, the diode is reverse bias and conducts no current. So, therefore, the current flows through the diode during the positive half cycles of the AC input supply voltage only and it is blocked during the negative half cycles of the AC supply voltage. Therefore, the DC voltage is obtained as an output across the load resistors. So, dear viewers, without wasting time, let's do the simulation regarding the half wave rectifier on the MATLAB and the Multisim software. So, now dear viewers, we have to implement this half wave rectifier circuit diagram on the MATLAB and the Multisim software. So, this is the half wave rectifier circuit diagram okay and this is the uh, transformer now the purpose of this transformer is to provide the isolation between this power circuit and this uh, converter circuit and also it is uh, used to step up or step down the level of the voltage okay so now when you are applying this ac supply voltage to this circuit now this is the half wave rectifier circuit and ac supply is consist of the two half cycles this one is the positive half cycle and this one is the negative half cycle now during the positive half cycle of the AC input voltage, now this end A uh, of this transformer of this supply voltage is positive with respect to the B. Now in this condition, the diode is said to be the forward bias and it conducts the current. When the positive terminal of the diode is connected with the positive terminal of the supply and negative terminal of the diode is connected with the negative terminal of the supply. So, it, in this condition, the diode is said to be the forward bias and it will give us the DC output which is obtained across the load side which is the RL, the load resistor. Now, during the negative half cycle of the AC supply voltage, okay. So, now in this condition, the diode is said to be the reverse bias and it conducts the no current. In this condition, the end A is negative with respect to the end B. So now, the, uh, in this condition, the diode is set to be in the reverse bias and it conducts the no current. So, it blocks the uh, negative half cycle of the AC supply voltage. The current flows through the diode only during the positive half cycles of the AC input supply voltage and it blocks during the negative half cycle of the AC supply voltage. So, in that way, the current flows through the RL through this load resistor is in the same direction and hence the DC output is obtained across the RL. So, implement this circuit diagram on the MATLAB software. So, now go to the power library. Okay. So, components uh, we require for this circuit, the AC voltage source we require. We require the load and we require the ground and also we require the transformer, okay? And also we require the voltage measurements and we require the root mean square value block okay so now assemble this circuit as per the circuit diagram okay make it r okay connect the ac voltage source to the primary winding to the winding one of the transformer which is the primary winding okay now 
we need another display okay connect this voltmeter in parallel with the primary side of the transformer okay and this display would give us the primary voltage this display would give us the primary voltage okay so now make it this transformer as a center tip so now connect the ground in between these two terminals second terminal of the transformer okay so now also we required the diode okay go to the power electronics and take this diode so this is the half wave rectifier circuit only a single diode we require for the rectification okay so now connect this diode with this load okay and now connect the second terminal of the load with the ground okay now we need another voltmeter now this voltmeter would give us the the dc output voltage across the load terminals okay now this voltmeter is uh, connected before the diode and this voltmeter is connected after the diode okay so now we need the scope also okay oscilloscope which give us the input and output waveforms okay so now go to the scope parameters uh, we need number of the two input ports okay so connect this voltmeter which is connected across this load side with the second port of the oscilloscope okay so now this one port of the oscilloscope is connected with this voltmeter which is connected in parallel with the supply so now change the parameters okay so make it 5e power 3 okay 50 hertz frequency winding 1 440 volts winding 2 220 volts okay copy the same of the winding two parameters and paste in the winding three so the same parameters for the winding three apply okay give the ac voltage 440 volts 50 hertz frequency change the value of this rms block okay and now load is here 100 ohm okay so now we have implemented this circuit diagram on the MATLAB software. So now run the simulation and observe the results of the input waveforms and the output waveforms with the help of this oscilloscope. Okay, so now these are the results of the input and output waveforms. Okay, so now you can see this is the AC supply voltage that we are given to this half wave rectifier circuit okay and this is the output voltage okay which is the rectified DC voltage so during the positive half cycle of the AC supply voltage so this diode conducts the current okay and give this pulse okay in the same direction and during the negative half cycle of the AC supply voltage the diode conducts the no current so dear viewers this was the simulation of the half wave rectifier that we have done on the MATLAB software. So now dear viewers implement this half wave rectifier circuit diagram on the multi-sim software. So go to the multi-sim. We need uh, AC power source. Okay. We need the ground. We need uh, the transformer. Okay. TS power 10 ratio 1 okay 10 to 1 and also we need the diode and also we need the load resistor mm, 
register so now connect this circuit as per the circuit diagram now connect the primary winding of the transformer with this supply side now connect this ground okay and also we need to measure the voltage across the primary winding of the transformer so connect the voltmeter in parallel so now this voltmeter would give us the primary side voltage of the transformer make it AC okay so now connect this diode with this port and make a transformer as the center tip so connect the ground with the center of the transformer so now connect this uh, load with the diode so now we need the oscilloscope so now there are the two channels of this oscilloscope in channel A and the channel B so now connect this channel A of the oscilloscope before diode so this will give us the input side voltage okay and connect the channel B after the diode this would give us the rectified DC voltage now change the color of the B channel make it yellow so output waveform will be easily uh, observed with the help of this oscilloscope okay so now change the parameters 50 hertz frequency okay load resistance 100 ohm okay so now this is the half wave rectifier circuit so now our circuit is ready for the simulation run the simulation okay so now this is the voltmeter which is connected in parallel with the primary side of the transformer now observe the results with the help of this oscilloscope so now you can see this is the input sinusoidal uh, voltage okay sine wave and this is the rectified DC voltage okay so now during the positive half cycle of the AC supply voltage this diode conducts the current and during the negative half cycle of the AC supply voltage this diode conducts no current okay so these are the results of the half wave rectifier circuit that we have uh, done on the multisim software dear viewers this was the experiment regarding the half wave rectifier that we have done on the MATLAB and the multisim software in which we have observed the results of the input and output waveforms using oscilloscope before and after the half wave rectification. I hope that you have enjoyed the today's experiment and at the last do subscribe my YouTube channel Shreve Madhav for more informative videos related to the electronics and electrical engineering area. Thank you.